Hello, welcome back again to the Robotimatica channel. On this video, we're gonna compute this series. It's kind of cool and weird because there is factorial here and a polynomial there. Okay, so if you like to try it, so give it a pause and give it a try. And the hint that I can give you is that this problem can be solved using some idea of plus copying sum. Okay, so please give it a try. I'll come back in a few seconds. Alright, so let's do this. Okay, so first of all, I uh, would like to factor this k to the 4th power plus k squared plus 1. So I claim that this can be written as k squared plus 1 plus k times k squared plus 1 minus k. So if we look at this closely, this is kind of expression of the type a plus b times a minus b, right? So result is a squared minus b squared. So in this case, we have k squared plus 1 squared minus k squared is equal to k to the fourth power plus 2k squared plus 1 minus k squared. And this is equal to k to the fourth power plus k squared plus one, right? So next, we would like to have the partial fraction of one over k to the fourth power plus k squared plus one. So remember that this guy can be rewrite as one over k squared plus one plus k times k squared plus one minus k. And the standard procedure to split this into its partial fraction is to rewrite this as a k plus 1 over k squared plus 1 plus k plus b k plus 1 b k plus sorry a k plus b plus c k plus d over k squared plus 1 minus k, okay. And this is kind of some standard procedure to get a and b, so basically we can multiply both sides with this denominator and then compare the coefficient of the polynomial on the right hand side compare it to the coefficient on the left hand side, okay. So you may try that and at the end you will obtain that this is equal to a half k plus 1 over k squared plus 1 plus k minus k minus 1 over k. Okay. So for completeness, let's check it that this is indeed equal to that one. So if we try to make the denominators to be the same, then we need to multiply the first fraction with k squared plus 1 minus k over k squared plus 1 minus k. So it's going to be a half of k plus 1, k squared plus 1 minus k, and then minus k minus 1, k squared plus 1 plus k divided by the product of the two denominators. Okay. So the first product of this will be, so let's, let's uh, concentrate on this k and multiply this k to all of these terms. So k cubed minus k, so plus k minus k squared. And then focus on this one, multiply with everybody, plus k squared plus 1 minus k. So if we simplify, that's gone, that's gone, that's gone, that's gone. So we only have k cubed plus 1. And then minus k 
cubed plus k plus k squared minus k squared minus 1 minus k. k cancels, k squared cancel. Okay. All right, so now the k cube are cancels as well. So the only terms that we have left is 1 minus negative 1, which is 2. And then 2 multiplied with this 1 half is equal to 1. So it is indeed equal to 1 over k squared plus 1 plus k times k squared plus 1 minus k. Right? Okay? So that's uh, only the part of this expression without the factorial. So now let's throw in the k factorial. So then 1 over k factorial k to the 4th power plus k squared plus 1 is equal to 1 half k this is k plus 1 over k factorial k squared plus 1 plus k minus k minus 1 over k factorial k squared plus 1 minus k Okay. So now, on this stage, we are looking for something that has the property of telescoping. So usually, the telescoping part is if we have an expression of the type bk plus 1 minus bk. Okay. So when we add up, then some terms are cancels. Right? So we are looking for this kind of expression. So in order to do so, let's make some investigation so let's try this one so this k squared plus 1 minus k can be written as okay this guy minus k plus 1 is nothing but k times k minus 1 plus 1 okay so that's the only one that and this guy is k plus 1 times k plus 1 okay which means that if we replace the k here with k minus 1, we are indeed getting this expression. Okay? Okay, so this is done for this part. But for the k factorial, if we replace this k with k minus 1, we should end up with k minus 1 factorial. So what should we do? Okay, so let's try to do something else. Let's try to, uh, so this one is, try to multiply the top and the bottom with k plus 1. So, why we do so? Because we would like to have, instead of k factorial, we would like to have k plus 1 factorial, right? Okay, so if we multiply the top and the bottom with k plus 1, on the bottom we have k plus 1 factorial and then k plus 1 k plus 1 minus k minus 1 k factorial k k minus 1 plus 1 okay so far this expression are exactly so this expression exactly that expression when we replace k plus 1 with k right or with when we replace k with k minus 1. So when we replace this k with k minus 1, we get that. And then when we replace this for every k here with k minus 1, we get exactly that. Okay? So when we multiply the top with k plus 1, we have the square of k plus 1, which is k squared plus 2k plus 1. Okay? But we want something similar to this one. Okay? So remember that going from this to that side, we replace k with k minus 1. So if we want to go from this side to that side, we replace k minus 1 with k. So we are looking for something with k over there. So let's separate 1k from this k squared plus 2k plus 1. So we can rewrite this as k plus k squared plus k. Plus one. Okay. But now we are lucky that 
this k squared plus k plus 1 is exactly that guy, right? So if, if we split this into two fraction, then we have 1 half, of k over k plus 1 squared k plus 1 times k plus 1 minus k minus 1 k factorial and then we have the remaining when we split this we have this over all of this right which is so we can forget this one half one half of this exactly the terms, so this is the same as that one, so we have only 1 over k plus 1 factorial, okay? Now, we have the telescoping that we need, so each term of this, so we get exactly this term by replacing this k on this term with k minus 1. This k, if we replace with k minus 1, we get that, and on the bottom we already mention that, okay? So this is one half of bk minus bk minus one, where bk is this expression, okay? Plus one half of one over k plus one, sorry, no. okay? So now, in order to compute this, then we can separate into two series. The first one is a telescoping series, and the second one is the series that we already know how what is the value of that. Okay. So when we come back to this, this is equal to the sum from k equals zero to infinity of half of b k minus b k minus one plus from 0 to infinity of 1 half of 1 over k plus 1 factorial. Okay? Okay, so remember that e to the x is the sum of 1 over k factorial from k equals 0 to infinity. So this is almost exactly the same as this. The only term that missing from this one is we don't have 1 over 0 factorial here. So therefore, I'm sorry, this is e to the x would be x to the k. So then e to the 1 is equal to that. Okay? So therefore this guy is 1 half of e minus 1, right? Because for this summation, it started from 1 factorial, 1 over 1 factorial plus 1 over 2 factorial. So the only term that is missing, which is 1 over 0 factorial, okay? So therefore we need to subtract 1, okay? All right? Okay, so maybe we already know the value of this series. How about that one? So since this is a telescoping sum, we need to compute the partial sum first, okay? So, let's call this guy as S, okay? So the partial sum up to the M terms is equal to the sum from K equals zero to infinity of one half bk minus b negative 1. Okay. So if we rewrite this, this is from k equals 0 to k equals m. So this is going to be half of bm minus bm minus 1 plus bm minus 1 minus that, that, that. And then the end we have b2 minus b1 or b1 minus b0 and then b0 minus b negative 1 okay so there are many terms that cancel so this guy this guy all are cancel except 
the m term and the negative one term. So we've got it's equal to one half of the m minus b of negative one. Bm is equal to so let's look at again this is bk. So Bm is half of m divided by m plus one factorial and then this is m squared plus m plus one. Okay? And then b of negative one, we substitute k equals negative one. Okay. Which is negative one over this is zero factorial and then plug in negative one there, we have negative one plus one is zero plus one. One factorial. And this one half everybody. Okay. So which is equal to One half of m over m plus one factorial m squared plus m plus one plus one. Okay, this is equal to one. Okay, so then in order to compute s, we just need to take the limit as m goes to infinity of s m. This is our s m. So as m goes to infinity, this expression is certainly goes to zero because this polynomial of the of the degree one and that m squared plus m plus one is already a polynomial of degree two. So the bottom is growing faster than the top. So therefore, it goes to zero. So the limit of s m is one half. Okay. So it means this summation is equal to one half. And then that summation is equal to one half times e minus one. So the total of this is equal to one half plus one half e minus one, which is equal to so the one half and the negative one half cancel. We have e over two. So that's our final answer. Okay, so. This problem is quite interesting, and this problem is taken from the American Math Monthly, and I saw this on on the book, which which we discuss about this problem. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button if you like it, and subscribe to the channel. So see you again on the next video. Bye bye.